This is an ABC News special report. Good evening. I'm George Stephanopoulos in New York. We're interrupting your program because we have learned, ABC News has learned, that Osama bin Laden has been killed. I want to go straight to Jake Tapper at the White House. Jake Tapper, this is the founder of al-Qaeda, the man responsible for the 9-11 attacks in 2001. That's right, public enemy number one for many years. He has eluded capture, uh, and there have been many times when the U.S. Uh, has thought that they were uh, honing in on him, especially, of course, uh, most famously in the Tora Bora Mountains uh, in Afghanistan. He's been thought to have been hiding in the Hindu Kush Mountains. That's a 500-mile uh, range of mountains in the uh, Pakistan-Afghanistan area. And we now have uh, sources telling ABC News that Osama bin Laden has been killed. President Obama uh, will address the nation this evening uh, to discuss this news, to talk about how it happened and, and where the U.S. goes from here. George. Okay, Jake, thanks very much. I'm joined here by Brian Ross, our chief investigative correspondent. The best we know, Brian, an intelligence operation likely killed in northwest Pakistan several days ago. That's right. Several days ago, there was an attack. Uh, most recently there, they killed about 20 or 25 suspected al-Qaeda figures. And according to one intelligence source, he was among those killed. This was several days ago. It is likely they have done a DNA match at this time before they would make such an announcement. And, and as Jake said, public enemy number one, Brian Ross, responsible not only for the 9-11 attacks, going back to 1993, the World Trade Center bombings. Absolutely. Back to the uh, attacks on the U.S. embassies uh, in Africa, the attacks on the USS Cole in Yemen, and then, of course, things. taking claim for the attack on the World Trade Center, boasting about he was the only one who thought the towers would actually come down and how proud he was of that moment. So since that day, he has been sought by, uh, by the U.S. in a variety of ways. They lost track of him for a long time since he disappeared at the, the end of 2001 and Tora Bora. And now uh, this news, if it's the case, uh, suggests a successful and important uh, strategic mission for the U.S. and a real success in it. We're also joined by Martha Raddatz on the phone right now. Martha reports that White House staffers uh, were all called in this evening in jubilation in Washington. They were, we're, we're hearing this absolute jubilation throughout government, but for the last few days, George, they have been meeting in the Situation Room. I was told several days ago there were high-level meetings going on in the Situation Room. Other people in the White House couldn't even get near it, and that there were special operations forces in there. There was a high military presence in there, and of course CIA as well, because it is the CIA that has been tracking him largely in Pakistan, uh, not usually the military there.